In the last presentation, we completed Introduction to Binary Coded Decimal. In this lecture, we are going to learn BCD addition. While adding two BCD numbers, we have to deal with three cases. I have written all the three cases here. In first case, when sum is less than or equal to 9 and final carry is equal to 0, the answer obtained the answer obtained is correct. In BCD addition, we only have to perform simple binary addition. We have to perform simple binary addition and I hope you remember binary addition. It is very simple. If we add 0 and 0, the sum is going to be 0 and carry is going to be 0. If we add 0 1 or 1 0 sum is going to be 1 and carry is going to be 0 and the last and most important case when we add 1 and 1 sum is going to be 0 and carry is going to be 1 so this is all for binary addition and we have to use binary addition in BCD addition but in BCD addition we have to focus on our answer we have to check whether our answer is correct or not and the answer depends on two things first one is sum and second one is final carry and depending upon their values we have three cases in first case if sum is less than or equal to 9 and final carry is equal to 0 the answer is correct in second case when sum is less than or equal to 9 but final carry is equal to 1 in this case final carry was 0 but now we have final carry equal to 1 the answer obtained the answer obtained is incorrect is incorrect and we have to correct our answer so how we are going to correct it to correct our answer we will just add 6 6 is represented by 0 1 1 0 so we have to add 6 we are adding 6 here to correct our answer in third case when sum is greater than 9 and final carry is equal to 0 again our answer is incorrect and to correct it we have to add 6 why we are adding 6 to correct our answers I will explain by the help of one example so let's move to examples example number one first example is based on case 1 and we have to perform the addition we have to perform the addition 2 plus 6 so these are the two numbers and we have to perform the BCD addition. Perform the BCD addition. Right. Let's move to solution of this example. 2 is represented by 0, 0, 1, 0. 6 is represented by 0, 1, 1, 0. We will add them. Simple binary addition. 0 plus 0 is 0 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry equal to 1 1 plus 0 plus 1 is equal to 0 with carry equal to 1 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 1 so 1 0 0 0 is the sum and we can clearly see sum is less than 9 because 1 0 0 0 is nothing but 8 and 8 is less than 9 and final carry is equal to 0 final carry is also equal to 0 and from first case we can say that answer is correct so 1 0 0 0 is the correct answer now we will move to example number 2 An example number 2 in this example we have to perform the addition 3 plus 7 and we have to perform the BCD addition 3 is represented by 0 0 1 1 and 7 is represented by 0 1 1 1 you can easily relate this from the last presentation 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry equal to 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1 with carry equal to 1 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 0 with carry equal to 1 and finally we have 1 so this is what we have as the sum sum is equal to 1 0 1 0 and 1 0 1 0 is 10 so sum is greater than 9 
this is case number three we have already completed case number one and uh, in case number three sum is greater than nine and final carry final carry is equal to zero so this example is satisfying case number three and for this case our answer is incorrect and whenever the answer is incorrect we have to add six so we need to add six but why we are adding six we have to understand in last presentation i told you we use bcd code to represent decimal digits and decimal digits are from zero to nine we use four bit binary numbers to represent decimal digits and you already know for four bit we have 16 possible combinations so by using four bit binary numbers we can represent zero to 15 but we are representing zero to nine and we can easily calculate the invalid cases 15 minus 9 is equal to 6 so whenever the sum is greater than 9 whenever the sum is greater than 9 we have to add 6 to make it valid in this case we have 1010 zero, one, zero as our answer but 1010 zero, one, zero is not accepted as BCD because we represent 10 in BCD like this, 1 is represented by 0, 0, 0, 1 and 0 is represented by 0, 0, 0, 0. This is how we represent 10 in binary coded decimal and this representation 1010 zero, one, zero, is this representation is simple binary representation. So there is a difference between BCD representation and binary representation and whenever the obtained sum is greater than 9, it is invalid. So we have to add 6 to it to make it valid. So I will add 6, 0, 1, 1, 0. 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry equal to 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is again 0 with carry equal to 1. 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 0 with final carry equal to 1. Now you can see we have 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 as our answer after adding 6. This is 6. And uh, from the last presentation, you already know how to convert a BCD number back to decimal. We will start from right and we will make group of four bits. I will add three zeros to the left. The first group will give us zero and the second group will give us one. So this is one zero in decimal. I hope you now know why we add six whenever we have sum greater than 9 or whenever we have carry equal to 1. Now we will move to example number 3. In third example we have to perform the addition 8 9 10 11 12 8 is represented by 1 0 0 0 and 9 is represented by 1 0 0 1 we will perform simple binary addition. I will do it quickly. 0 plus 1 is 1, 0, 0. 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry equal to 1. So you can see final carry, this is final carry. Final carry is equal to 1 and sum, this is sum, is less than 9. So you can see this is case number 2 when we have sum when we have sum less than equal to 9 and final carry equal to 1 and in case number 2 also the answer is incorrect and we have to add 6 so let's do it quickly now we know the reason for adding 6 to our answer I will add 6 quickly 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 and now we will make group of 4 bits. First group will give us 7 and second group will give us 1. So 17 is the answer and you can easily cross check your answer. This is 8, this is 9. 8 plus 9 is 17 and we have 17 as our answer. So by adding 6 we have correct answer. Now we will move to last example and this example is very important this last example is very important and in this example we have to perform the addition 57 plus 
26. We now know how to perform the addition. So we'll do it quickly. To represent 57, first we will represent 5. 5 is represented by 0, 1, 0, 1. 7 is represented by 0, 1, 1, 1. 2 is represented by 0, 0, 1, 0. And 6 is represented by 0, 1, 1, 0. So this is the representation for 57 and this is the representation for 26. Now we will perform the addition. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 with carry equal to 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1. Sum is 1 with carry equal to 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1 and we have 0 here. Now very important part comes. You have to check this 4 bits and then again this 4 bits. For this first 4 bits we have 1101. 1101 1101 is 13. Right? 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. And 13 is greater than 9. So we have our case third. And in case third, answer is incorrect and we have to add 6. So we will add 6. 0, 1, 1, 0. On the other hand, when you check this 4 bits, it is 7. And 7 is less than 9. And there is no final carry. So simply, this is valid answer. I will perform the addition quickly and let's see what we have as our final answer. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0. With carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 0 is again 0 with carry equal to 1. 1 plus 1, 0. 1 plus 1, 0. 1 plus 1, 0 with carry equal to 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. So this is what we have after adding 6 to our result. And again we will make group of 4 bits. The first group is giving us 3. 0, 0, 1, 1 is 3. And the second group is giving us 8. So 83, 83 is the answer. And let's try to cross check it. 7 plus 6 is 13 with carry equal to 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8. So 83 is the correct answer. And uh, now we will move to homework problems. We will move to homework problems. In first homework problem, you have to perform the addition 3 plus 4. In second homework problem, perform the addition 7 plus 9. In third homework problem, perform the addition 7 plus 8. And in last homework problem, perform the addition 83 plus 34. All these homework problems are very important, especially the last one. This last one is similar to this example and uh, in the first three homework problems you will find all the three cases. So once you have your answer, post it in comment section. This is all for this presentation. See you in the next one.